Hey guys, and welcome to 2022. And as promised, new year, new gear. Um, we're looking at three of our new systems here. Uh, on the left, we have the Snapcom, which we'll get into um, on our next video. We have the new Praetorian, um, which was actually a Pro 2 that we just upgraded to the new Praetorian. And on the bottom, there's the new Prime 7. Um, so today we're going to concentrate on the Praetorian. We're going to show you some of the boards inside, some of the hardware that has changed. Um, we've also upgraded the system with a new app. And uh, we've added uh, over 25 new features onto, onto the app itself. So let's, let's get started. Okay, so let's take a closer look at the uh, new Praetorian. Um, and here we have our surge board, which most of you are familiar with. Here's a new keypad, which is programmable via the app now, so you no longer have to uh, program it through the keypad itself. Uh, high resolution camera, high definition, the new Praetorian board. Now, also what we've actually done, uh, we've incorporated a modem on the 4G systems, so you can order with a modem already built in. Originally, we have been using the external modems which was another box that needed power on the outside. So um, if you're ordering a pedestal unit, you can now um, just have the modem installed directly inside the unit, which makes it a lot easier. Um, so on this particular system, as the Pro 2, we can, uh, we can control it via Wi-Fi, if you had a good Wi-Fi signal there. Uh, Cat 5 and Cat 6 directly to a modem if you were close um, and it was less than 300 feet without using a repeater. And now we can incorporate the modem right inside the unit and we would just connect your Cat 6 cable jumper right into the unit and you can connect either way. So those are most, most of the new features, new boards, new hardware, new, new firmware, um, new software. The firmware is actually upgradable via the server, so you no longer have to connect to the unit. It automatically gets sent to the unit once the unit is up and running. So let's uh, let's go over some of the new features. Okay, so let's let's go over some of the new features um, that have changed uh, from the Pro 2 to the new Praetorian. Um, we've added almost uh, 26 new features, and I'll go over those on the app with you. So if we go to the Praetorian app and we open it up, and we're going to go into settings. So if we click on the check mark, it will actually give us the inner version of the Praetorian app and the version of the app that we're using right now. It's 2.7 and that's the current version. Now, the nice thing about this new system is that when there is a firmware upgrade, it's pushed onto the server and all the units are upgraded automatically. Um, so you don't have to go back in and download uh, a new version of the app, which is really nice. Okay, the next one, uh, we can check the firmware by clicking on the two gears. Now we're going to select the intercom and that will give us the version. It's a 4.2.0.61. And we also have a reboot button on there. So um, if there were a new version of firmware that you wanted to upload and it wasn't uploaded through the server, we can do it through here. Okay, so we're gonna skip forward to our next uh, next icon, um, which would be the circle, um, the power button. So if we click on that, select the intercom, we can now do a reboot at any particular time. So that's a soft reboot um, in case you need to reboot for whatever reason. It'll give you a warning that the system will reboot and it will not be operational during that time. However, on this new system, if you have a relay that's latched, uh, when the system comes back up, it will relatch that relay so you don't lose your re relay status. We're going to click on cancel. We don't want to reboot now. And we're going to go back. Um, on the bottom portion of this is our advanced features. Um, and this has some really, really cool uh, cool stuff in here, which we didn't see in the Pro 2. So the first icon here with the bubble um, is your notifications and motion detector. So right now I have my motion detector uh, selected off. And I do have my notifications. And I'll go through this in, in a little bit. Okay, so we can actually turn notifications on or off depending on what we're looking to do. Okay, my next icon is my 24-7 calendar. And this is something that uh, a lot of people have asked for. So we're going to click on it. We're going to click on the intercom. And this is where I can set my auto open, relay, and close latch. Um, so we can select whether we want to latch or unlatch. Select the date, the, the time of week. And then we can set uh, and unlatch. So if we go to two that would be a latch command and we're going to give it a time let's say one o'clock we're going to confirm that we want it to latch on monday tuesday wednesday 
and then we want it to unlatch and we're going to click on the number three for unlatch and we want it to unlatch at let's say 10 o'clock i'm going to confirm and we want to unlatch on monday tuesday wednesday and so on and so forth and that's how you would set it you can click on the save in the upper right hand corner and that would save it to your calendar okay so let's go back to the schedules our next icon is to switch the camera from high definition to standard definition so right now we have it set to high definition um, we can send uh, we can set it to standard definition there really isn't that much of a of a difference when you're looking at it um so i would just leave it on high okay the next new feature is the activity log so if we click on the activity log icon select the intercom um, on this page, it'll show us all the calls that were received, all your keypad codes that were entered, um, your timed auto open events, uh, motion detection, and if you've missed a call, um, it also has call recording where you can actually play back the message and uh, see who was at your gate. Okay, now we're going to come back to the main screen. And our next one is our keypad codes. Um, as we mentioned before, we have different keypad codes that we can use, the 24-7 uh, keypad code, which is your standard code. So if we wanted to add a code, we'll click on the plus sign. We're going to give this a name. Again, it's important when you look at the activity log so that, you know, just, that you'll know who actually was at your gate. So I'm gonna call this Sal2. And we want this to be uh, momentary. And we're gonna give it a, a keypad code and we'll say one two three four and we save okay so i've turned on my notifications and now i'm ready to press um a four digit code so i'm going to walk over to the unit and we're going to press one two three four star okay it automatically gives me a notification that the trigger was pressed and now if i go into my app and i go into my event log go to my event log select the intercom the last log is on top here and it tells me what time it was triggered it was triggered by sal and if i click on the picture it will show me um of when when uh the four digit code was entered uh, that's how simple that is um other other keypad codes that we have here uh time restricted codes so if you wanted to give somebody a, a code that is time restricted uh, let's say you have a landscaper that, that um, is only there from three o'clock in the afternoon till five on Mondays and Wednesdays. You can all set that keypad code to work for only those specific times. And then we have auto expiring codes. So if you wanted to give your landscape or code, maybe for just a day, um, and then have it expire at the end of the day, that code will no longer work. Okay. Our next one is for prox cards. Um, if you choose to go with a prox card reader, again, we can give a prox card 24 seven access time restricted access and order expire the next one is voicemail so if um somebody presses that call button and nobody answers after 20 seconds um they can leave a message for you on on the system and then once you get back you'll notice that you'll have a message and you can go back and play it back uh from from your log okay so what we want to do now is uh test the answering machine so i'm going to press the call button but I'm not going to answer it this time. So I'm going to click on the banner because it's telling me that there's somebody at my gate. Okay, there's the call. I am not going to answer it and I'll let the uh, answering machine pick up. So I'm going to slide this to the close position. And the answering machine takes about 20 seconds. Please leave a message. Hey guys, it's Al. Sorry I missed you. Um, I'll speak to you later. Thanks. Okay, we're just going to wait until the unit hangs up and it records the call. And now if I go into my call log and select the intercom, okay, my, that's the last call. And it's telling me it's a voicemail. If I click on voicemail, there it is. And last but not least is your motion detector. So we're going to click on motion sensor. We're going to select the intercom and uh, we can actually toggle on or off and change the sensitivity. So right now it's in the off position. And if I wanted to turn it on, just simply click on it. Now it's in the on position and we can actually ch change the sensitivity from one to five 